Hey folks, welcome back to the channel again, nice to see you. Today we've got another unboxing video and this one I'm a little bit apprehensive about. This was a box delivered, it's another eBay purchase, but it was a box delivered by UPS. And where's my knife gone? And let's just say he wasn't handling it with the greatest of care when he came in. I'll tell you about it in a minute, I just want to get it open and double check on everything. So, like I say, this is another eBay purchase. If you've been watching my videos recently, you'll notice I've been on the lookout for some female... Um, what are they called? Female Dwarf Neon uh, Rainbow Fish. And I couldn't find any at any of my normal places. So, I went online. This is always nice to see. We have a, a list of tips basically of how to take the best care of your fish. Always verify zero ammonia and nitrite levels before introducing new fish. Sorry but we cannot be responsible for a fish once it's in your water. Fair enough. Close the curtains and turn off the lights to keep the fish calm and avoid shock. Now open the box. Do not open any bags yet. Inspect the fish in the sealed bags. If any are dead take five second videos of the dead fish and email it to us. Float the sealed bags for 15 minutes, open the bags, add 50% of your water, wait 30 minutes, add 50% of your aquarium water again, wait another 30 minutes, release the fish into the aquarium. Leave the lights off for another 30 minutes. That's it's good to see that, but I don't personally subscribe to that method, so I'll be ignoring that. So, inside the box we have very little packaging. There is a heat pad, which is still warm, so that's good. I would have... I would have expected a bit more padding, possibly. But, there you go. It's not here to be... Ah, there we go. Wow, that's a big bag for two fish, but they are alive. Can anybody tell what they are yet? We'll come back to you in a minute. And there's an even other, an even bigger bag with my suspiciously male looking dwarf neon rainbows. Well, there are at least a couple of females in there. But they told me they could guarantee mails. Is that it? I ordered more than this. So it's a nice box, well made box. Um, got the polystyrene all the way around, the heat pad in there. Not bad, not bad at all. Now we just need to quickly go on eBay. So what we've got here is Rainbow Fish. Um, this was a seller who was advertising some of these and I said can I pick out can you pick out females and they said they couldn't unless I bought the larger size which this is so I said fine no problem happy to I said yeah if you pick the larger size we can guarantee you that we can get you females but I can see at least two males in there and then in this one I can only see two fish and I was expecting there to be four. Let's have a quick look. So this is two Neon Dwarf Rainbows, um, three of, so there should be six in there if my maths is correct. And that looks fine. One, two, three, well, it's quite hard to count in there but I'm assuming there's six. And then this is meant to be four Galaxy Rasboras. But can he see four in there? I can only see two. I can't see any bodies or anything. Now, let's go and get them unpacked. So, while I talk about how well the packaging has been done, because it has been done quite well, there's quite thick polystyrene in here, so that'll protect it pretty well. We've got the live fish sticker on here. 
Um, it's got fragile tape all the way around. Yeah, this is how the delivery driver chose to approach my driveway. Hello, sir. I could have punched them. I very nearly did. So I gave him a bit of a piece of my mind and then sent him on his way. But how thick do you have to be? Whee! Hello, sir. Moron. Okay, we've been in here floating for about 20 minutes, half an hour, or something like that. Um, and just to clarify, when I said earlier that I appreciated the instructions but I wasn't going to follow them, it's not because I think they're bad instructions, it's just because I think I prefer my way of um, acclimatising fish. Purely because I've been doing it this way for so long, that it's kind of second nature now. And touch wood, I've never had any losses doing it this way. And the reasoning behind it is, and this is for fish that have been travelling uh, overnight or 48 hours or whatever it might be, is that if they are um, letting waste out into the water, while it's contained like this, it's not so much of a problem. Because when I cut this open and the oxygen rushes in, the ammonia that's in this water is going to become a lot more toxic than it is at the moment. So I feel it's just a little bit safer to get them in there and worry about any massive differences in pH rather than any massive differences um, caused by ammonia. So these are the Celestial Pearl Danios or the Galaxy Rasboras or whatever you want to call them. I think I might have miscounted earlier, I'm pretty sure I can now see four. Yep. Tiny, 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 tiny fish. So I need to be careful with this plastic. Definitely three there. This is what we call the plop and drop method. That's three. Yeah, and there's one stuck at the bottom of the bag. Let's get you in. Four. Whew. Give them a bit of time to colour up and then we can have a look at them a bit better. So, new net for the new fish. Right, let's, do, let's turn these ones over and just cut straight through this part of the bag. Same thing, pour them into the net. Check for stragglers, no, nope, we're good. And get them into their quarantine tank. So, give them a little bit of time, and we'll come back and we'll have a look and see how they are. While we're in here, I don't know if you watched my last video, I was talking about these fish here, these are the white cloud, the golden white cloud mountain minnows and it was getting splashed from somewhere and there was water everywhere it turned out it was this tap and in fact I think I've got it down here so I've had to replace this and what it was I'll take this off It's the finest of hairline cracks on the tap itself. It was spraying a fine mist which was landing on there and covering these pipes. I would probably never have noticed it until it was a massive failure. But yeah, there's a tiny, tiny, tiny hairline crack there and that was what that problem was. And it was causing all the ground down here to be soaking wet. So, whew, disaster averted. As much as I'm sure it would have been a great video. Flooded my fish room. That's not really what I want to happen. Anyway, come back in a few minutes. So, here are the rainbows. And uh, you can see one of the reasons I'm not totally enamoured is that the way you sex these fish is that males have red tails and the females have yellow tails. So, I think from left to right we've got female, male, male, female, male, female. Three females, three males. That's a pretty piss poor attempt at 100% guaranteeing the sex of a fish. There you go.
But, oh well, I shall email them and see what they say. And then the Celestial Pearl Danios or uh, Galaxy Rasboras sometimes. Right at the back there. These are truly tiny. Oh, truly tiny fish, but once they get coloured up, they're awesome. All the fish are in, they're happy, they're healthy. I suppose that's a win, can't ask for much more than that. I'm a bit disappointed that the rainbows turned out to be three males, three females when I really wanted just the females. But I have emailed the seller and he's got back to me already, so that's really good. Um, saying that he's definitely going to try and get a resolution. Um, whether that means they send me more fish or give me a partial refund or I don't know. Make sure you subscribe and then we'll, I'll update you in the next video. Um, but yeah, the CPDs, they're great. Or I'm not sure whether I should be calling them CPDs or Galaxy Rasboras. It seems to be interchangeable, so I need to do a bit more research about that. Um, I've been interested in these in a while but I've just never been into really small fish but now that I've got that tank in the office which has got my killifish and my shrimp I think these will be perfect in there um, they are really small, they don't get much bigger I mean the, these fish as far as I know they've only been around for the last 10-12 years or so um, certainly in the hobby I'm sure they've been around a lot longer than that um, but they got really popular really early on and I've always seen pictures of them and you see them in these beautiful aquascapes and stuff so I've never had an opportunity to get them before so I thought I'll get them as well so hopefully we'll give these guys a couple of weeks in here and um, make sure that there's no problems developing and then we'll get them into the tanks so the rainbow fish I want the females down here so as I can get the breeding program started with the rainbows so while we're down here this is the rainbow tank but just look over here at these guys. That's a terrible reflection. Let's see if we can sort that out. Look how red those shrimp are. Can you see them in there? I'm not putting any kind of colour filter on or anything like that, but they're so red. And like I say, these Galaxy Rasboras or the Celestial Perdanios, they're going up into my office tank. Um, but that was just a quick update today, got some new fish in, uh, some trials and tribulations with the new fish, but in the end I suppose it's all not too bad. As always, click that subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, let me know what you're thinking, and I'll see you in the next one, which hopefully won't be too far away. See you later. Bye bye!